Hi and Assalamu alaikum. I am Surya Nusof. I am going to present about thought stratigraphic image evolution. Okay, this is thought anatomy. Okay, I am going to present about epi as a thought and epi oblique thoughts. Okay, first I am going to start. I am going to start with epi as a thought projection. No bony overlap from adjacent digit. Phalanges and half of metatarsal are included within the exposure field. So some bones adjacent to each other. Positioning. IP and MTP joint are open. Mid shaft concavity are equal on both sides of phalanges. Phalanges are seen without foreshortening. The, position, the positioning of this radiograph is incorrect. This is because joint, IP joint on at the fourth and fifth digit are closed. So to improve this, if patient condition allows, extend patient toes, placing it flat against their arm. Okay, this is incorrect positioning. This image demonstrate greater mid shaft concavity on the medial surface. The, this means the toe and foot were laterally rotated. This is externally rotation. So to improve this, rotate patient foot medially until the toe of interest is fed again the IR. This image demonstrates greater mid shaft concavity on the lateral surface. This means the toe and foot were medially rotated. This is internally rotation. To improve this, rotate patient foot laterally until the toe of interest is flat against the arm. Next, this image shows the IP joint space are closed. And this cephalon is foreshortening. The toe was flexed and the CR was not aligned parallel with the joint space or perpendicular to the distal phalanx. To improve this, if the patient condition allows, extend the toe, placing it flat against the IR. Alignment. The alignment between aseptic and case and patient cannot be determined because there is no palmation. The alignment between aseptic and case cannot be determined because there is no collimation. The alignment between case and patient is incorrect because there is because left and right side not equal distance and superior and inferior level is not equal distance. Centering point for this radiograph cannot be determined because there is no four borders of collimation and standard centering point for this projection is third MTP joint. At the superior border structures that should be included are middle phalanges, distal phalanges, IP joint. At inferior borders structures that should be included are MTP joint, metatarsal head, mid shaft of metatarsal, at lateral border structures that should be included are sesama bone, first metatarsal, and fifth metatarsal. There is no evidence of radiation protection apparatus seen on the radiograph. Exposure factor. The bony cortical outline of the thin structure which is the distal phalanges can be seen and the bony cortical outline of the thick structure which is the metatarsal can be seen the bony tropical pattern of the thin structure which is the distal phalanges can be seen and the bony tropical pattern of the thick structure which is the metatarsal can be seen. So, MAS and KVP is adequate. 
there is no changes needed marker there is evidence of an anatomical marker shown in the red graph correctly placed on the left side of the body and placed appropriately not superimposing any region of interest aesthetic the film size used for this photograph cannot be determined the standard film size for this projection should be 18 x 24 cm which is sufficient to demonstrate all structure of interest there is no evidence of artifact on the radiograph. Name. There is no patient name, an ID, date of examination, place of examination. Patient. This is because of patient privacy. This should be. This should place at the edges of the film and not superimposing any region of interest. Conclusion. The radiograph is acceptable because there is plumber marker on radiograph, the exposure factor is adequate, there is no artifact on in radiograph, there is slightly rotation that do not lead to misdiagnosis. The element is acceptable because the region of interest not being cut off even there is no forward side of collimation. And the patient identification is not shown but it is because of the patient privacy. Okay, next, epi oblictus projection phalanges and half of metatarsal are included within the exposure field. No bony overlap from adjacent digit. Positioning IP and MTP joint are open. Twice as much soft tissue with more phalangeal and more phalangeal concavity are present on the side of the digit rotated away from IR. The positioning of the photograph is incorrect. This is because here the IP joint are closed. To improve this, if patient condition allows, extend patient foot and position it in 45 degree of the gitti. This is incorrect positioning. This image shows that the obliquity is more than 45 degrees. This is because posterior aspect of the proximal phalanx with shaft demonstrate more concavity than the anterior aspect. Okay, this image showed that the obliquity is less than 45 degrees because we can see mid shaft concavity on both sides of the phalanges are most equal. Alignment The alignment between acid tube and patient cannot be determined because there is no collimation. The alignment between acid tube and cassette cannot be determined because there is no collimation. The alignment between cassette and patient is incorrect. This is because left and right side not equal distance and superior and inferior level is not equal distance. Centering point for this photograph cannot be determined because there is no four borders of the collimation. The standard centering point for this projection is third MTP joint. Collimation at the superior border structures that should be included are distal phalanges, IP joint and middle phalanges. At lateral border structure that should be included are sesame bone, first metatarsal and fifth metatarsal. At inferior border structures that should be included are MTP joint, metatarsal head and mid shaft of metatarsal. There is no evidence of radiation protection apparatus seen on the radiograph. Exposure factor The bony cortical outline of the thin structure, which is distal phalanges, can be seen. And the bony cortical outline of the thick structure, which is the metatarsal, can be seen.
in the bonnet triangular pattern of the thin structure which is distal phalanges can be seen and the bonnet triangular pattern of the thick structure which is the metatarsal can be seen so MTP, eh, MTP. so KVP and MAS are adequate and there is no changes needed marker there is evidence of an anatomical marker shown in the radiograph correctly placed on the right side of the body and placed appropriately not superimposing any region of interest aesthetic the film size used for this radiograph cannot be determined because cannot be determined the standard film size for this projection should be 18 x 24 cm which is sufficient to demonstrate all structure of interest there is no evidence of artifact on the radiograph name there is no patient name and id date of examination place of examination this is because patient privacy it should be at the edges of the film and not superimposing any region of interest conclusion the radiograph is acceptable because there is plumber marker on the radiograph the exposure factor is adequate there is no artifact in the radiograph there is slightly rotation that do not lead to misdiagnosis the element is acceptable because the region of interest not being cut off even there is no forward side of formation the patient identification is not shown but it is because of the patient privacy Okay, this is my references and thank you.